hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video i want to show you one of my favorite uh turkish routine after dinner routine so today i started by actually going outside with my husband and then came back home and actually he cooked for us some yummy meal and you can see he cooked for us some meat some potatoes uh, some chilies there so this is one of his favorite Turkish meals so he had to prepare for us and uh, you can see how yummy it was like it was delicious so this was our dinner and then after dinner we normally have our Turkish tea and this is black tea as usual we, if you are in Turkey you will understand that they normally have two kettles uh, one for boiling water fresh water and the other one on the top uh, we have uh, the, the tea and the water and it's so delicious when it is cooked like that and today I'm also having some fruits directly from our farm if you have watched my video previously you'll understand that we have a lot of fresh food from our farm so today I'm just preparing some of them uh, because my husband is at home and we normally love to share like uh, after dinner tea together so and i'm also going on with my watermelon there you can see how delicious it is it's so sweet so sweet so sweet so in turkey we have these small cups for chai and also small spoons and also those uh, everything and today i'm also having some nuts there these turkish sunflowers uh these um i don't know the, the turkish uh, name uh, but these are some ground nuts there and i'm going on with some uh, dried fried maize and also some sunflower some chocolates there yeah that is what and then these are i don't know the name is actually uh, going away uh, so that is what we are going to use today so as usual i normally come pour the tea because it is my duty as a wife to do this in turkey you will understand that most of the time uh, the wives are the one making uh, food and bringing to the table for the husband and the kids so as usual we sit down with my husband there uh, during this time we are just actually enjoying ourselves and also watching some tv my husband loves politics if you're married to a turkish guy you will understand that these people really really love politics and also they love watching news about the, the sports and uh, politics so today he was watching some stuff and uh, while he was watching i'm just there with him uh, my son is there but you can't see him because he's on the floor we are trying to tell him to come and sit with us but it that he doesn't want he want to play and also our little girl she's there but you can't see her because we kept her the other side so as usual i normally love to play with my son there trying to give him something to bite because he is so picky he doesn't like to eat uh, so much so i prefer him actually to actually bite something before we go to bed so this is our routine actually before we go to bed uh, we share some fruit some chai and then um, we just prepare for the night routine like to go to sleep and everything so my son you can see how he's so picky he wants this he wants this and that is our normal life here like this is my normal life sitting together with my husband discussing some stuff and most of the time uh, this is the perfect time that we can get and discuss a lot of things with my husband just the two of us and uh, actually think about other things that we are doing the house uh, maybe if we have any issue we can try to solve but in most of the time we are just trying to discuss the day-to-day -day, uh, life things or what has happened and just enjoying our life <laughs> our soft life this is our normal life we don't live extraordinary life we are just normal people normal couple trying to better themselves and also trying to live a normal life we are not those uh, perfect uh, like perfect couple that you can find in the world we have our own mistakes we have our own uh, ups and downs but we try to make it actually perfect by ourselves in our own ways so my husband is trying to tell me to actually to make tomorrow to try to make him some smoothie with this um 
Turkish fruits that there are so plenty in the house, so he's trying to tell me to actually take some of them and actually blend, mix together, and then he's going to actually use tomorrow in the morning. Oh, so he normally also takes time to actually tell me some of the Turkish food or fruits that I can make for the kids, um, how he wants them, because sometimes he, the kid, uh, like my son, loves the smoothies like when you make in Jewish form. And also we have different kinds of juices, the way they make fresh and also not the fresh. So we enjoy our tea there and I normally want to put my tea in this small flask to avoid uh, any accident with my son. Because if I bring the kettle here, he gonna actually try to play with it and it can be so dangerous. So this one serves me right because it is small and also I'm not taking too much of tea. You guys say that uh, too much of tea is not good for breastfeeding mom. So for me, I normally uh, actually just get one cup of tea and my husband maybe two or three. He really loves it when you actually uh, make it the, the, like when you give him more like this. So he just enjoyed there, try to play with the kid, try to talk with the kid and actually... By the time we are done, the time is over and uh, the kids are tired, they want to sleep. So this time, my little girl just woke up. She was there, she was sleeping. So I go ahead and pick her because my husband wants to put her on his feet so that he, she can actually sit uh, there while we are eating, at least to give me some time to eat and enjoy the meal. So I put my kid there. And my husband gently play with her. This is a normal, uh, maybe a tradition in Turkey. Whenever the baby is crying, you put the pillow and also uh, place the baby on the top of the pillow and then try, try to swing from one side to the other side. So I have seen this uh, method being good in Turkey and being used here a lot. And it is amazing because the kid won't cry more. But as as usual, my little daughter doesn't want to. <laughs> he doesn't. She doesn't want to sit. She want me to take her, so she try to cry, cry. So I have to take her again and try to calm her down. So this is how we normally enjoy, or we normally have our uh, after dinner chai. You can see my little daughter there. She's so pretty. I love her. She reminds me when I was a little girl how my mom took care of me. Yeah, so she's so, 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 so little, but she's so nice. So that is our daily uh, routine after dinner. I hope you have enjoyed it. Until next time again, bye-bye.